So uh, in this video, what I'm gonna do here, uh, first I'll go to uh, my GitHub and I'll try to clone a repository and I will push some content into that repository. So let's see how we can do that. So if we go to my uh, this free css.com, so we can download a uh, mini website from here. Website, website in the sense, website it's like templates, okay. Uh, so I'll go to this, this website, metal website, and I'll try to download this website then I will uh, copy this template and push this template into my GitHub. So let's see how we can do that. So for that first we have to download this template into a local repository. This is local system. I'll just download this file. Click download. So it's a 4 MB so it will take a couple of seconds to download. So let's wait. So meanwhile I'll go to my repository. Uh, github repository and i'll try to create a new repository over there already have us there are a lot of repository you can just go through that and i'll create a new repository go to repository and i will create a new repository html application html css application so i'll make it as a public and i'm not going to give any description for this create a repository over here So successfully created uh, so I'll just create a small file over the test file so creating a new file and I will add a new file okay or else I'll do one thing back to this and uh, we can create a readme files over here so the same as see readme license get ignore files okay so I'll just click a commit okay you can see that successfully it's created and uh, one file has been added readme.mt so now I'll, I'll clone this repository for that we have to click dot ssh okay so this you have to do see if you want to clone your repository either we can go with https or ssh or github okay so if it is a, if it is already public repository you can go with https so uh, if it is a public repository and if you want to clone by using ssh or uh, through communication through ssh to make it private or to make it secure so first you have to create a key and you have to copy the public key into your repository and i'll show you how we can do that so if you go to settings you will be able to find the SSH key. You can you can add the SSH key over, over there. So here we have an option. Uh, SSH, SSH and GPG keys. Just click over here. Uh, we have an option over here to add our SSH key. I mean I already added one SSH key. And I will show you how we can add. So first we have to click new SSH key. So once you click new SSH key. Then you can directly you can go to your command prompt. So you can generate SSH key gen. So once you execute this command, automatically it will create a SSH key. So if I back to my uh, this PC and I will show you uh, where my keys is uh, located because I have been already created the key a couple of seconds ago. So you can see the .ssh, .ssh directory. So there are two files has been added, right? So this is my public private key and this is my public key. So you have to copy this public key and you have to paste it. I'll show you that. I'll just copy this first. So back to your git repository and uh, paste over you. You can put any custom name. So that is not a mandatory or inevitable. So that is enough. And uh, once you're done, then you can clone your repository by using SSH key. So let me just do that first. I'll go to my repository again. Where is my repository? Okay. So this is my repository, right? I'll back to my repository. I'll click uh, Shukun Mathur uh, repository. Okay. HTML CSS application. Open this application and uh, you can you can just copy this first so back to your command prompt okay I'll, I'll remove this and i'll go to download okay you can see that i've been already uh, downloaded the file so i'll just click cmd because i'm going to clone the repository into my download directory okay so you can just put uh, git clone so that is a command uh, so you can use this command for uh, code commit or bitbucket uh, for any other repository you can use it Okay, it's a common command git clone. Then you can put a uh, git at the rate git dev automatically whatever the copy data from git repository. Hit enter. So it is automatically cloned the repository because already have my SSH public. Because they when they negotiate in the keys that they can understand. Okay, so this person is uh, like authenticated person or like uh, so I'm a trusted person because I have been already created the key connection between my system and as well as my git repository. Okay. So now you can see that I've been already created the file. So this is not a file, that's my git repository. I'll open this. I have only one file. So I'll go to download again. Uh, I need to extract this file. So here you can see that successfully downloaded. The file has been situated in my download directory. I will open this file. 
Okay, let me just extract it to the same direct. Extract. Extract. Okay, successfully extracted. I can have one more file. I'll open this. So just copy these all files. Then back. Just copy this file. Then paste your uh, HTML CSS application. So it's su successfully added. If you open this file, you'll be able to find the application over here. So welcome uh, Metals Factory, right? So this uh, HTML application I'm going to uh, push into my repository. Let's see how we can do that. Well, already I added into HTML CSS app. I'll go to the CMD again. So let me check what is the status. Uh, git status. Okay, fatal. It's not a Git repository. I can understand. Okay, I'll just uh, HTML CSS application. I'll, I'll try to execute the same command again. Git status. So now I can see that. So in my Git repository, CSS font image index.html js. So these five files or directories. So that is not present in my Git Git repository. So I have to push this. So for that, I will use this command. So git add in my current repository. Okay, successfully added. Now I'll execute git uh, commit. I can use git commit. So I'll modify this em. I can use it my app, my application. I can use any name, no problem. So then I will use git push. I'll use my origin as mass main branch because I'm not using master branch over here. Git push origin mail. Hit enter. So it is going to push your all files from the local repository into a git repository. Let's let's see how we how it's doing. So it's already done 32 percentage. Uh, we have a total 139 files out of 139, 45 has been already done. So 53 is completed. So we have to wait a couple of seconds. It will it will do as soon as possible. Okay, now it's a 59 has been completed and 43 percentage. So we have to wait like at least 10 to 20 seconds so we can see the magic over there. So 95 percentage has been completed successfully added all the files into my repository you can see that i don't have any files over here but once i refresh this page and you'll be able to find all the files yeah so I'm, I'm able to see all the files over here right so on that way we can add it we can use ssh or we can use https as well but if you want to push any files to github then we have to use ssh okay or else you can uh, through the console through the console you can do a drag and drop also we have an option but in real time scenario, we, we cannot use this HTTPS or like, uh, so we cannot use the drag and drop. So in company, by using like SSH. So this SSH is authentication they're using. For the particular developers, so they require this repository. So there are some particular developers, they're working, but they cannot do, they cannot access the repository because we have a submission critical application uh, code actually be keeping on this repository. So it will, it will be like that. So, so better you can learn by using SSH. Okay. So just do this, uh, you'll be have an idea. That's it. Thank you.